Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast, YouTube edition. I am your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today I'm going to be talking to you about tensioning a tension line and some of the dynamics behind it. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. So stay tuned. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. All right, so let's dive into today's episode. As you see here over my head, I have a tension line. So today I'm going to be talking about how to tension up a tension line, what's required, and what do you need to do at the control side of this tension line. So let's dive in. All right, so we have a tension line here. I have two vertical bolts. I have two rigs on one side. It can be whatever you use. Um, and then two figure eights on this side. All right, so how much do I need to tension a tension line or how much is too much? It's a question that I receive all the time and it's a pretty simple answer. At the end of the day, okay, if you don't need the elevation, cool, that's all you need. It doesn't need to be tensioned unless you actually need the elevation, all right? Next up here is say that I do need to tension them. Okay, just pull them tight. In a lot of cases, that's all you need. Okay, just by doing that has given me an additional, you know, seven or eight inches. Okay, obviously keep in mind that I don't have a very large span here. Okay, however, say that you have a very large span and you do need that elevation and you know, you're now wondering, what do I need to do? Very simple. I'm going to just grab a rope grab of some sort and a pulley. In this case, I have a basic and a roll clip. All I'm going to do is just put this onto one of the two lines. I'm going to take that rope, put it in. I'm gonna do a three to one here. That's my three to one. I'm just gonna pull it with one person load here and that's all I'm going to do. Next one. All right, that's it. Okay, so there we go, we're done. Doesn't need to be more tight than that. Um, you know, you don't need to be sitting up three, uh, five to ones, nine to ones, and just heaving on it, uh, getting multiple people, okay? Because the more tension that you apply here, you increase that angle, applying a lot more force on each independent anchor, okay? Now, what do you need to do here, okay? There is a lot of rumors saying that these need to be tied back with figure eights, figure nines, alpine butterflies, whatever a case is. At the end of the day, the manufacturer, the one that makes the gear, says all you need is a slip knot in this line about 80 centimeters to a meter from the device, allowing it to slip in the event, okay? Um, and then you can take that, clip a carabiner into that, and that's all the manufacturer requires. If you want to take this, create a slip knot, and clip it back to itself, that is also fine. So be it. Okay? But the requirement of having to tie an eight, nine, or alpine, any sort of a termination knot there because they just do not meet the minimum requirement for anchors of 16 kilonewtons is absolutely bollocks. Um, at the end of the day, the requirement here in Alberta is 16 KN, and that's the anchorage, not the anchor devices, 
not the devices, not the rope, any of that sort of stuff. It is the anchorage, the structure that you're attaching to. It must meet or exceed 16 kn or be unquestionably strong, i.e. bomb proof. Um, this is not your anchorage. These are anchor devices. Okay, these are control scent devices. All right, so that is a very big misconception in our industry. I'm just kind of shining some light on that. So yes, 16 kn for the structure, whatever you're attaching to, but the devices itself are totally fine. When it comes to which knot here, obviously at a minimum, meet or exceed the manufacturer specification and then your company procedures may supersede that by making you tie eights or nines etc all right well thank you very much for tuning into today's episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to hit the like button comment down below and tell me what you thought about this episode and if there's different ways that you tension tension lines all right. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications as I put out new content every Sunday. Make sure to follow us wherever you get your podcasts. And until next time.